Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can find the position or direction of a light based on the presence of a certain situation in the scene. So here's our shot. It's a flyover of a football stadium. We're going to start out just doing a quick auto track on it. And the situation that we're looking for arises here, where we have a tracker on an object. Here it's what, a light up on a post. And we can also see and track the position of its shadow somewhere in the scene. So in this case here, I'm just going to switch to five mode. If you look carefully, you'll see there's, there's actually a little drift in this position of that tracker. And that's because there's a little lens distortion. So let's just go and we're going to correct for that a little bit. And now let's go. This, this actual situation happens a couple times in the scene. We're just going to go and track another pair as well. I'm just going to make that a match mode tracker. We'll just tighten that up a little bit. And again, we're going to track both the object and its shadow in the scene. So we're just going to track those through the scene. Notice actually I didn't start at the beginning, which is a little bit of an oops if you like. So let's just turn the thing around and we'll just run back the other way. So now we track the two trackers through the entire scene, except for this other one. So let's turn it around too. And so now we've got those tracked. We'll just lock them up. Now we're ready to go and we'll just update the solution. So now we have those two guys tracked. You'll see that now we don't have any drift in those. And now we're ready to go to the light panel and start telling it what we want to do namely to create a new light. Now, since this is a sunlight, it's a far away light, so we need to check the box for that. And now we need to tell Synthize what these pairs of trackers are. So each one of those is called a ray, and it's going to go from the object to the shadow. And now you notice that the light has appeared in the 3D environment. Now what you're seeing here, since this is a far away light, it's actually being positioned relative to the origin at the world size distance that uh, we've set up on the solver panel. This is just a default 100. I think it, uh, yeah. well, I think it's that, it may be a multiple of that distance. But the point is that it, it's a kind of a, arbitrary position in 3D because really what we've computed is the direction to the light. So when we go and we export this to an animation package downstream, it's going to be setting up the direction to this light. So we've used this one pair of trackers. Let's also set up this second ray for this other pair that we've set up. And if you notice the position of the light changed as we did that because now it's using the two pairs that we've set up to average them out to find the best position of this. Now, if this had been a closed set and the light was maybe a spotlight somewhere and we have two different rays basically synthesized in this situation where we've got the two different rays, it would be able to triangulate to find the 3D position of the light in the set. Some other interesting things happen when some of these trackers are moving around in the environment. They might be uh, motion capture style points or they might be on a moving object. And Synthize can take advantage of that information to compute the 3D location as well when the camera is not or the light is not far away. And that's kind of using each different frame as a different ray for the same pair of trackers. But that's the subject of a different tutorial. So let's go and now just show 
a little what we can do with this. We'll take a couple of these trackers. Well, let's do this. That's what we want. We're going to set up a coordinate system using a couple of trackers on the track. Turn off my five mode again. So now we just set, set up a ground plane for the football field there. So now if we go and create a cylinder, say, we can go put it out in the scene, create a mammoth pole. So now if we go to the perspective view, now it's casting the shadow, and you see that we get shadows that match up with the light posts. So this is a useful technique to help you exactly match the lighting in your original scene and better match and integrate your CGI with the scene.